what up, what up? So it's been about uh, right around a week since last time I jumped. Uh, knees are feeling better, and I did mostly stuff in, in, inside the gym, as you'll see through the, the video on jumping, which I hadn't done previously. So I was just trying to kind of gauge and see where I was at, how my recovery would be, and what I realized very fast was that my knee tendons, although were strong for like power lifts or traditional lifts, were not strong or durable at all for athletic movement. And once again, I haven't done any of this stuff in a long time. So it's, um, you know, my body is not used to it and it's a shock. So my, my pain in my knees was pretty rough the first couple weeks. It's getting much better. Uh, I'm doing more stretching. I'm doing more knees over the toes stuff. I, ho I hooked up with um, this guy named Logan who works for that guy who does a lot of knee specific stuff. Honestly, what I like about this process, I'm just learning from, you know, some different people that I didn't normally even know about prior. And uh, yeah, it's working good so far. <laughs> jumps today after I super warmed up and trained like five max jumps nothing crazy the thing I was jumping at in my gym is right around 10 feet I think it's like 9 11 I was able to touch it with a couple drop steps pretty easy um, I think the progress is like like I've said before I have been able to jump and dunk not consistently but my knees would hurt so bad that I would do it and then I'd just be done. And where this time, I want it to be something I can continue for a while. So I'm taking my time, I'm scaling it. But body weight, uh, 183 and a half, 184. Knees feeling better, progress is there. I still don't feel as athletic as I have in the past, but incrementally better, it's that long game. So. Uh, good progress and even though I'm labeling myself as the 40-year-old uh, white dunker, I ain't dunking yet, but I will be soon. <laughs> 